Hi everybody, JB here from MMP Education London. I'm thrilled to be with you this afternoon to showcase how to work with solid outline. Something that could be a little bit of a difficulty sometimes in a salon because a lot of clients are a bit kind of reluctant to have very blunt shape. But we're gonna see why and how it's something that you can easily implement to your day-to-day -day salon work and really create that little extra that your clients need. So in here, I want to introduce you a little bit the look that I've done before we get towards the outline. So the idea of this look this afternoon was to really show you something that is very, very commercial. Things that you can easily do as a day-to-day -day salon work. So what do I have? Well, if I look here towards the profile, I've got a very nice type of graduated shape that you can see here going through. A lot tighter with the nape. So this, the idea is to create weight towards the occipital. The top section's been layered, so you've got a little bit more length towards the side. You can see now at the back, you know, that the outline's been left, how it was cut technically. And this is what we are going to work with. We're going to create much stronger, sharper outline to create a maximum definition within our shapes. And then you've got here the other side where the hair was brushed towards the opposite way, but you can see here as well that the outline needs to have a little bit more work done so we can create some strength within the shape. So let's get going, let's get cutting. So first of all, let's have a look at the different option that we can have and how it affects the neck shape. So in here, what we can do is, we can easily create a curve line, which will leave a slight little point in the center, but then also we lift the hair towards the side, which as it lifts the hair, it reveals more of the neck shape area. So we can do exactly the same on either side. Or in here, what I'm going to do actually is to create a slight asymmetry. As the two sides are slightly asymmetric itself into the internal shape, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a very nice, beautiful blonde shape going shorter on one side to longer to the other side. So what it will give you will really bring a beautiful little point of length that is going to elongate one side of the neck and really showcase the shorter area on to the other side. So what's very important prior you start cutting your outline, really look at the neck shape and the profile of your client because this is the key to achieve a beautiful and suitable individual look. So now I'm gonna refine the shape, one at the back, but then also slightly towards the side to really showcase how powerful it is when you've got a stronger neckline, how it changed the entire shape. For this, I'm gonna use the point of my scissors, but then also the clippers. And you see it's really giving a very beautiful strength into that outline. The only thing is with this is quite cluttered, it's quite heavy, where this is pointy, so details worked quite well here. So this is the final look of what we wanted to show you today, was basically how do we create a little bit more of impact on a hairline by making it stronger and bolder. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial this afternoon. JB from MMP Education London, thank you so much. See you very soon.